Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So finally, we have a new ZBrush, ZBrush 4 Air 8. This is a long-waiting uh, new upgrade. I think the next one is uh, ZBrush Air 5. So, first impression: we have this new home page that it's linked to Pixologic. This is pretty cool, so you can check it out. Let's close it for now. So first look of the ZBrush, I feel that its component, the tools are much easier set. They uh, delete some the tool from the right. Uh, by example, the zoom tool that I use it a lot, it's in document and now we can go to zoom like this. Doesn't matter. The other thing that I see the the panel with files are a lot more. By example, we have jewelry. We have a domi demo animate head, S and etc. Let's open one of these. Uh, let's demo animate. Okay, let's wait for it. Come on pretty interesting I think this is a cool base mesh for a head so this is Dino mesh. awesome next step let's open one of my projects that I've worked so we can talk about gizmo so this is my last project made for silverstatue.com Anubis I really love this project so let's change the material to basic so we have some shinies and to use the new gizmo we need to select one of these three move rotate scale or uh, move <laughs> uh, let's go to rotate and here we go we have the new gizmo in place i love i love it why because this gizmo is for ages in 3ds max and i think it was needed in ZBrush also. So the Gizmo has some, as you can see, on top of the rotate, scale, move, etc. We have some settings. I'm not going to go for uh, to everything. Only that I'll uh, going to use it in the future. So let's let's move it. So we're going to go to X axis and just drag it. As you can see, we can easily move our mesh. We can rotate it, we can scale everything, or we can just scale in one direction. Dope. <laughs> so let's control Z, move it back in place. Okay. Uh, an awesome feature for this uh, gizmo is that we can go and unlock this one and then we can move it to the bottom as you can see we move only the gizmo lock it back and then we can let's rotate it this is awesome we can rotate the base from the Base, uh, the mesh from the base so ctrl z again uh, next awesome feature is that I saw that if we rotate this one and if we go to uh, reset mesh orientation usually it put back in place the next cool feature is that if we go to transport all selected subtools if we select this one all the subtools from our uh, subtool panel we can move them or rotate them together if we need to scale it we can just scale it all together this is awesome will be so useful in future projects uh, the other important thing to tell is that if we want to move only the let's say the body and the base we need to stay there let's say that we need to scale this body by pressing ctrl shift 
and select everything on top as you can see the the base is some transparency pretty cool design of transparency and now let's see that we need to scale it oops I rotated and the base stays in place so now we have a bigger Anubis let's go back to rotate and uncheck this one now let's just select the bottom now we have it all selected so this is awesome we do have more settings here reset mesh orientation mesh to axis go to all max mesh center sticky mode and more customized i'm not going to go on them because i'm i'm not sure that i'm going to use it a lot but you can check it, them out of course so this is all for this gizmo for now i love it i'm going to use it all the time i don't think i'm going to use uh, this tool anymore but who knows uh, I'm going to, I do want to talk for a, a new feature, the live bowling, but I'm thinking to try to make a new project with this one, not to talk only. So maybe I'm going to work on it. I'm not sure if it will be a time lapse or uh, talk through. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.